Aubrey O'Day is just one of the many celebrities speaking out against Diddy amid his multiple sexual assault allegations, and she made her feelings very clear about his recent home raids. After Cassie Ventura sued Sean Diddy Combs in November 2023 amid allegations that he had raped and assaulted her, Aubrey O'Day shared her thoughts on X, formerly known as Twitter, with one succinct sentence, I stay trying to tell y'all. She elaborated further to Rolling Stone, saying, I am in full support of Cassie. It isn't easy to take on one of the most powerful people in this industry and be honest about your experience with them. I know what her heart is feeling right now because I have done so as well." O'Day encouraged other victims to come forward, hinting that she had been one as well. She then expressed her disappointment when Diddy nipped the lawsuit in the bud with a speedy settlement. She posted, "...money over accountability every time. Welcome to another chapter of The System is Well in Place." When an ex-user called her out for being insensitive, the singer clarified that her statement was aimed at Diddy. She wrote, she told her story and it validated her, not me or mine, the accountability was on him. Following Homeland Security's raid at Diddy's homes on March 25th, O'Day again shared her thoughts, and it's clear she wants justice served for the rapper's alleged wrongdoings. Not one to stay silent about Diddy's growing legal troubles, O'Day tweeted, "'You reap what you sow. I pray this emboldens all of us victims to speak on what we have endured.'" Amid reports that Diddy's private jet was tracked to the Caribbean after the raid, O'Day shared in her Instagram stories, "...some people stand on business and some use the money they robbed from decades of their artists' pockets to flee the country. I said what I said." Diddy was spotted in Miami by TMZ after the raids, so it turned out he wasn't on his plane after all, making it unclear who traveled to Antigua. Despite O'Day's fearless outspokenness about her former mentor, she also revealed that she's scared for her life. O'Day cited an alleged incident in which Diddy threatened to blow up Kid Cudi's car, which happened soon after. During an episode of No Jumper, O'Day referred to the incident, which Kid Cudi confirmed, and shared her suspicions that she was being followed. Is this a sociopath or is this somebody that can be redeemed? As one of the former stars of Diddy's show, Making the Band, O'Day clearly has a huge beef with the media mogul. According to the singer, her experience working with Combs was not a good one. O'Day recalled that Diddy picked her apart constantly. She told Variety, "...we were scared to death with what would happen with Puff each day. There was just no room for error. Diddy was one of the most intense people you could ever work with. I experienced everything, from race to sexism, and a lot of it was scary." Back in September 2023, O'Day read an NDA Diddy's team had given her during an appearance on the Only Stands podcast, I have to sign an NDA that I will never disparage Puff, Bad Boy, Janice Combs, or Justin Combs music or EMI. She also explained that Diddy was offering to give back the rights to the music of her band Danity Kane, but that they would only get pennies per stream. Although she warned her fellow band members not to take the deal, a couple of them signed. Somebody made, what, $48 million? Nearly $50 million? And we didn't even see a penny of that. And 